A forever home, you know, that's the key question when you're doing uh, adoptions. You know, that's what you're ultimately trying to find is a forever home. Um, you know, forever homes come in all different packages, to be honest with you. Uh, we have been very surprised. Some of the people that we thought would be fabulous homes, that when you looked at their application were A pluses, um, failed. You know, and some people who we thought that were not going to do well, that we were nervous when the animal left, you know, we were kind of questioning it just a little bit and we thought, well, well, we'll trust that it will work out, turned out to be one of the best homes. So it's really hard sometimes to judge who is going to be the best home. It's more of, to be honest with you, what's the best fit for the person. You, they have to realize what their expectations are for the animal that they're adopting, what they they can deal with personally and then get pick that animal that best fits their 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 family home I mean if you've got a couch potato that wants to sit and eat popcorn and watch movies you don't send them home with a Jack Russell so I mean that's one of the things you've got to look for so you're gonna look for the dog that's more laid back that wants to lay around in front of a fireplace and wants to watch that movie and eat the popcorn with you so people have to sometimes realize what their true expectations are. Are they going to leash walk? Do they want to leash walk? You know, are they just looking for a dog who will go out in a fenced in yard and potty and come right back in? You know, are they, if they're runners, you know, they don't get a little foo-foo dog. You know, they get that lab or a greyhound, something that wants to run with them. You can't run to death a short-legged dog. So, you know, you've got to keep that in mind, <laughs> unless it's a Jack Russell. So you've got to keep that in mind when you're looking for something. What are your expectations of the animal? And then if you really have a realistic idea of what your expectations are, you'll find the perfect dog for you.